Hey folks, Landstrider here, and you're watching episode 48 in season 2 of my Nightmare series in Aquarian Skies. And you might be able to tell by what's in my hand and what's behind me that today I'm going to do some fishing. Before we do that though, I want to get into a quest. I've got it nearly complete. If you look at my inventory, I've got most of the things here ready to go. I'm just, uh, I taught my ME system to craft up the 64K storage drives because it was just going to be kind of a pain in the butt to do it by hand. So I added all those recipes and all the sub recipes necessary to get to that. So let's see if it's done. Not quite. What's it working on? Oh, I didn't teach it Fluix crystals. So let me give it that recipe real quick. Where does it need that? For what is it? Actually, let's just look at fluid crystal. F L U X. No, I'm not spelling it wrong. How is it spelled? F L U I X. Okay. I X. There it is. Okay, so I need to teach this one. This should be the last recipe it needs to know to be able to finish it up. Put it on this page of miscellaneous parts. And let's see if that's... Well, now it's moving again, but it's going to take a minute to finish all that up, I guess. So I'll just let that go, and while it's crafting that up, I will try to explain and show how the sluice and the fountain work. So I'm going to need a tesseract, I think. Do I have a tesseract in here? I do. Nice. Must have made them for something. I don't remember what. So I'm going to need a tesseract and a aqueous accumulator. Where can I do this that isn't going to be? Oh, I know. I can go out to the orchard. This is a good place. Nothing out here to mess up. If I put an aqueous accumulator down, it'll start to accumulate some water in a little bit here. And then I can stick a fountain on there. So that's going to feed the fountain with water very slowly because I don't have uh, buckets. I wonder if I have some buckets of water. That's probably not too important. You know what else I can do while I'm doing this? I can demonstrate both if I just go back to the home for a second. Grab a tank. I need a mariculture tank. One of those. I'm going to need some buckets of water. Buckets of water. There we go. There's one. Get another one here. There we go. Set up a little thing out here. Shouldn't take too much time. Plus, I gotta wait for that to craft up. And I want to show how these work. Whoops. Actually, shortcut. There we go. I uh, should have grabbed some. Uh, that's okay because I have my handy dandy wireless terminal that doesn't quite reach as far. I'm going to get a little closer. There we go. Close enough. Get a little bit of cobblestone and we can see that the cobblestone is moving quite along. I managed to keep my system running most of the night and I'm up to 19 million, almost 20. So let's start by setting this up to have some water on a couple sides of it. Put a tank here for it to fill up as well. It's going to start putting a little bit of water in there. And then if I put water here and here, the aqueous accumulator will then be able to work at maximum efficiency and start really pumping out some water. It's going to fill this guy. Whoa! I thought that needed power. Maybe it had a little bit of power. Yeah, apparently when you craft these things, they start out with just a tiny bit of energy. And you can see what it's doing. It's making a fountain. 
If you grab the block off the top, it'll replace it. Of course, that uses up a little bit of power every time it does that. I guess I didn't need the Tezzerek to demonstrate that part. So yeah, that's what a fountain does. I believe it'll do that with any fluid that can be placed in the world. If you pump the fluid in, it will fountain it up like so. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get rid of that now, just so we can get rid of the, the water all over the place. It's going to make it hard to demonstrate the next thing. So yeah, that's a fountain. Well, it looks so good. I didn't need the Tezzerex to power it because it. I've noticed that about um, the Mine Factory Reloaded machines. When you first craft them and you put them down in the world, they have a tiny bit of power or some amount of power in them to begin with. Now a sluice will either take fluid and put it in a tank or remove fluid from a tank and put it in a world. So if I put it down like that, uh, yeah, so there we go. So now it's taking the water out of that tank and it puts a water block in the world. That's interesting that it doesn't flow. That's kind of, kind of cool. Because, yeah, um, it's not like messing everything up. So one of the things that these are really good for is if you wanted to drink mob essence with a straw, which you can do in this pack. It'll give you experience. You can use this on a tank of mob essence, which will continuously place a block of mob juice in the world, which you can then suck it up with a straw and get a little experience. It's not nearly as fast as liquid XP from open blocks, but it does work if you wanted to use up your mob essence that way by to get levels for like say enchanting or whatever. So yeah, that's a sluice. So get that back up. Ah, that's interesting. It removed the block when I picked it back up. And I need that Octus accumulator back. I can go ahead and leave this little bit of water here. Oh, actually, yeah, I kind of wanted to... So, yeah, if I break that... Of course, I believe when you break up... Yeah, when you break a Mariculture tank, it does not... So if I do it the same way here, set it the same way, so now there's a block of water behind it. I believe that's an actual source block. Yeah, see, there it goes. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, shit. What the heck is going on there? I've never seen that happen before. Apparently, it's water flow is breaking blocks. That's not good. Okay, so there's something I've never seen happen before. Okay, uh, what is it? What is it doing? Okay, be wary of that. I guess let me get that picked back up real quick. Hopefully, yeah, and then it gets rid of all that water. That's wow. Okay, so yeah, and that's new. I've never seen anything happen like that before. Water breaking the grass blocks. That's different. Um, so I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> so be careful if you do something like that, I guess. Uh, let me get some more dirt to fix in all these blocks. A bunch of them went down into the void, so let me just clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay, I've cleaned that all up. That that was quite a mess, and I went ahead and put my armor back on before I forget, so that I would be protected and moving again at grease lightning speed. Uh, you know what? I need to grow some trees here. So yeah, I've been working on be breeding some different trees just to get the different types of wood, but that is, I'm, I'm going to save that for like maybe a different episode to really go through all of that stuff. It's, it's basically the same as the bee breeding, but anyway, so yeah, I showed you all of that stuff how the fountain works and the sluice works and you should pretty much know how all this other stuff works. The fluid transition plane is like I said it's just another way to get water into your system. That's, I mean you could use it for like lava or some other things but I'm not sure that 
I'm not sure that it would be useful for anything other than maybe like an infinite water generator to get water directly into the system. So let's just go ahead and turn that in so we can move on to the next thing. Um, oops. Uh, that would have been a, an end quest. If we look here. It's manual submit. Oh, apparent. Oh, yeah. Well, why is it not taking a fountain? I have a fountain. Okay, I was having a problem getting that one to work. So I've went ahead and crafted a very fresh one. So hopefully one straight out of... Yes, okay crazy so once you place it in the world it starts getting um, NTB data that's a little different than apparently what's in the book and it's really hard to get it to match that again once it's already been in use so I just crafted a fresh one and that worked so let's look at the rest of this I need some more fluid emitters I need my 64 I don't need more than 164 cakes okay no just one of those four more or three more transition fluid planes and three more fluid interfaces and fluid a bunch of fluid level emitters so let's look at just teaching the system to make level emitters I believe I have that code that one put that on this page of miscellaneous junk Yeah, it already knows how to make the regular level emitter, so this will be no problem. I need 15 more of those. And I'm going to need some fluid transition planes. I need a few more of these, so I don't need one. Two, oops, and I'm out of cable. Craft me some of those. Just go ahead and make 64 of them. And I need one, two more of those at least for the fluid transition planes. This is taking a lot longer than I expected to, to finish up this quest. So hopefully it doesn't cut into my fishing time too much. Oh, yeah, I guess I have to make the actual transition planes first, which needs more fluid dust, of course. Fluid dust, just make a stack of that for me. One, two, three. Transition plane. Should just be, yeah, there we go. Three of those. And the other thing was the fluid interface. So I need three more of these. I thought I might, but I didn't want to overcraft them. So that, I'm going to need buckets. More buckets. Toss a stack of buckets in there. Put those away. Put that one away. And uh, interfaces. Just craft me three of those. Good. It had the stuff ready to go for that. So give me three of those. Okay. And maybe it'll be done with the level emitters. It is. Excellent. So now I can finally... Oh. Need the 64... Is it done with that? It is done with that too. Good. So submit that. There we go. Now I can get my reward. Claim my reward. So gives me another yellow heart container. Very nice. And an epic bag to open later on. And another life to go into the system. What do we got? Um, I think it's almost time to go fishing. There's uh, some things about this bound fishing rod. So if you wanted to make a bound fishing rod, first you start with a titanium fishing rod. I'm going to go ahead and make a new one just to demonstrate how this works. And maybe I should talk about fishing rods in general real quick. Wrong book. Okay, I had a small bit of a crash there. I'm not sure exactly what. The crash report did not indicate exactly what the problem was. Something was out of bounds. Uh, it might have something to do with the fishing rod. Apparently, the bound fishing rod can cause crashes somehow. We will just move right along here. I wanted to look at my fishing thing because I wanted to explain about 
fishing rods. There's four levels of fishing rods with Meyer culture. The reed fishing rod is the lowest one, gives you the least amount of uses. It's fairly similar to the vanilla one as far as number of uses and I guess and I'm I'm guessing that each one is going to give you better chances of catching different things. They each use different baits and here you can see what baits it will use. Uh, the RF fishing rod is the best one from the Mari culture mod which requires two titanium rods and a, a battery so and we uses pretty much every imaginable bait. So let's grab some fishing rods out of here real quick. See I have a wooden fishing rod ready to go. I can probably make a reed fishing rod pretty easy. There we go. And I want to go ahead and use a couple of these. I don't know if, how hard is it to make a tight... Oh, I guess I could have looked right there was right over here, yes, titanium fishing rod, which takes a polished titanium rod. Okay, and this, can I possibly, how do I make a titanium rod? Titanium, polished titanium rod, huh? Oh, you gotta put a stick in molten titanium to get a titanium rod. And it takes three ingots of titanium, wow. Okay, so I'm not going to be making one of those right now. This is the one I got for my quest. I am not going to go ahead and use that because I imagine that if I have any damage on it, it won't be turned into a... It won't get turned into the uh, blood rod. Well, maybe I can use it. So, I can, Oh, I need a bait. Can't go fishing without bait. Don't forget your bait. Now, the first two rods, the wooden rod and the reed rod... They can use uh, grasshopper bait, which I can get from these oak leaves, no problem. Now the titanium rod is going to need something better. I think it needs worm bait or some other kind of bait. I actually have some of that in the system, but I wanted to see what it takes to get that grass. You can throw apples or dirt. Okay. Those are the different things that you can throw in the sieve to get the different baits. So let's come down here. I'm going to throw some blocks of oak in there to get me some grasshoppers. Got a bunch of grasshoppers there. I don't need that many, so toss a few of those in there. I see my auto fishers have used up their rods. Cause I, I just had reed rods in there. And I'm going to go ahead and try the reed rod first. Let's see. Cast? No. Okay, so the, you have to have the bait for the rod on the um, bar beside the rod to work. And then you just right click, toss it out there, and then... Well, that was fast. What did I catch? Rotten flesh. Not particularly. Oh, wow, that's fairly quick compared to a oops, mist compared to the vanilla and I'm getting a lot of non fish items here so there's a fish what I catch a raw salmon now if you want them to not be raw the best way to do that is to be underwater when you fish that way the fish stays underwater the entire time it's coming back to you uh, you probably still get some raw. I'm not sure. Um, the other way is to do the auto fishing and you'll get some live fish that way. So yeah, that's the reed rod. Works a much fa I seem way much faster than a vanilla rod. I'm going to go ahead and load that one up with that reed rod. Let it finish that out. And let's take a look at the wooden rod. Now the wooden rod takes uh, grasshopper bait too? Yes. And we can, let's see, does it, will it take the, and I'm not sure if the, the different baits affect the actual outcome. It might. I know it definitely does on the bound fishing rod. Oh, apparently caught something on it. Caught a lily pad. This might be the only way to get lily pads in this uh, 
mod pack. Nothing. So yeah, it, it works pretty fast. Little splash there. Nope, nothing. Sound, nothing. And uh, come on, come on. Oh, caught something there. There, I caught a fish. A stingray. And he's raw, so he he died. Come bring a real one of them in. Oh, uh, I'm gonna move right along and try the titanium rod. Now, if you don't have the right bait on the bar, you can see it will not cast. So put some worms beside it. Now I should be able to cast. There we go. Oh, nope, nothing. Come on. Hey, a piece of leather. That's... The uh, fish? Yes, I caught a neon. Alright, so you can see that the Mario Culture fishing is much faster than the traditional vanilla fishing. I kind of like that about it. Uh, and you do get a bigger variety of things. That is awesome that I got some lily pads. I don't think there's any other way to get those. So I'm going to go ahead and put the wooden fishing rod in there to finish up. And I am going to hope that even though I did a little bit of damage to this titanium rod with those few casts, it's still going to allow me to do a activation on it. So if I get my activation sigil out, crystal, weak activation crystal, get that out, and start this guy up, and toss a rod in there. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So yeah, if you're going to make a bound fishing rod, it has to be 100% um, repaired. can't have any damage to it. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. So anyway, good thing I already have one made from before. I had actually gotten two fi uh, titanium rods in the course of questing. And I, event I had turned one into a bound fishing rod before. So... Bound fishing rod. It, this is supposedly it can crash you if you use it improperly. Basically, if you put and let's um, see, I should have some nope, wrong book or wrong device. Uh, okay, had another little crash there. No idea what that was about. I'm just gonna go ahead and blame it all on the fishing rod because uh, supposedly it does cause crashes. And since I've been messing with it today, I've been crashing a little bit. Let's see here. Let me go and put the put these fish in the system. Done with all this. Uh, done with that. Don't need these things. And get out some uh, blood shards. Because if we look at, I have a few of them in here. If we look at what the fishing rod can use for bait, it can use rotten flesh, weak blood shards, and demon blood shards. So, rotten flesh. We'll start with that. Now, if you're going to use rotten flesh, you do it without, so you can activate it. Maybe you can activate it. What's up here? Oh, because I have... No? Doesn't want to activate. It's deactivated. Interesting. Okay, rotten flesh doesn't want to cast either. Maybe I'm crashing. Maybe maybe it's confused because I have both types of bait in my system, so or in my inventory, so let's Let's try it. Oh, I know what it is. It's probably because I have my armor inhibited. Armor inhibitor out. So I need to turn that off, maybe. <laughs> well, that's an interesting interaction. So I guess if you have your armor inhibited, and pardon the particles, I had it inhibited to avoid that. Um, with it unbound, I mean, with it unactivated, you can use the rotten flesh. I don't believe 
that yeah and see now it won't work with the rotten flesh while it's activated so it has to be unactivated and you can use rotten flesh all day for for bait it still does use a little bit of blood every cast. Oh, look at that. Bottle of Enchanting. And I believe with this you can actually get some other, some even other interesting things. I already caught a empty crystal once with it. Ooh, I see a cut alive stingray that time. I guess the bubbles don't indicate a fish. you got to what? There. Oh, what was that? Raw puffer fish. That's the, that's a new one for me. And a saddle. Wow, you can catch all kinds of neat stuff with this rod. Nothing. Man, I really wish those particles would go away. Let me see if I take that off. That. That's not all of them. There. No, still got particles. Maybe it's this one. There we go. That, that's for the particles for the time being. I think I'm f fairly... Ooh, there. It's a nice. A damselfish. A live one, too. Very nice. So it looks like maybe I have a better chance of catching them live with this. So yeah, without with it being inactive, you can use the rotten flesh. So let's grab some... Let's grab some of those sigils, or yeah, blood shards, sorry. Blood shards, I'm going to put the rotten flesh away just so that the rod isn't confused about what I'm trying to use for bait. And now, oh that's interesting. Apparently I was able to cast with it, but I want it to be activated because I believe now, if I just jump in the water, I'm going to do this in the water because it's, I think it's going to produce, yeah, you see that? It just produced a crap load of fish. All of these fish, a bunch of them are live. So if I do that again, a whole bunch of fish, some music discs, probably some stuff laying on the ground now. Yes, a bunch of stuff laying on the ground. So if I do go ahead and start putting some of these things in my system. I can pick up the rest of them. Look at all that stuff. All that stuff. Very, very rapid fishing. So yeah, if you want to get a bunch of fish real fast and get real quick into um, breeding Mario culture fish and stuff, the best way to get a ton of them in a very, very short period of time is the bound fishing rod. We'll look at all that stuff. See, I've got Siamese fighting fish, clown fish. Uh, a lot of these are still raw, so it, I guess it doesn't matter if you're under the water or not. Uh, basically, when you use it with a weak blood shard, you're going to get a bunch of things. Now, there's one other shard that we can use. No, oh, dang it. Stay out of the water. One other shard that we can use with this. Go ahead and put all of this stuff away. I think we've got a quartz rod. I guess that's for alchemical wizardry. Something to do with blood magic. So yeah, you can get a bunch of blood magic components fishing with this thing too. Which is kind of nice. But first, I need to get a demon blood shard to do this final fishing thing. I have no idea what this is. Somebody suggested that I that I show this and so I am going to because I think it will be pretty neat so I'm going to get my bow by bone bow out because this is probably the easiest thing I have to kill this guy and I earlier I set up to make a bunch of this uh, Tara for summoning the earth elemental because it's just that it seems to me to be the easiest the easiest bit of stuff to make it's just sand, dirt, some two two piles of obsidian, and weak act or weak activation things. Did I get one? No, it's gone. This other stuff it takes. Simple catalyst. Sorry. Simple catalyst. There it is. 
And I don't want to get anywhere near that guy. So if I just shoot him, I, I found out that you don't actually have to use a bound weapon to kill this guy. He will still some, still sometimes drop his sigil. It's not it's definitely not a hundred percent guarantee. I don't think it's ever a hundred percent guarantee. Even if he even if he does have the uh the debuff on, he will still not always drop his sigil. But it doesn't matter what you kill him with. If you kill him with something that has looting or something like that, there is a better chance that he will drop it. Unfortunately, I can't put that on the bow. Wish I could put looting or fortune or something on the bow that would... There, there see, now he dropped one. I killed him with just the bow. I did not use a bound weapon at all. So I've got a demon blood shard. Let's get two of them. Just, just to... Because this might be really cool. I might want to do it a couple times. Let's see what happens. And come on. He's going to spawn. There he is. Blast him away with the bow. He's almost cheaty, you know, because he, he has he's really defenseless. I can just kill him at ranged. No problem. No real danger to myself at all. Um, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Um, go ahead and put the bow and a arrow back in my thing there. Let's see. I don't want those in there. I want them to go into my system and I'm not I think I did a test with this and I don't believe that the range is affected by height it's just affected by how far away you are uh, from you know uh, the X and the Z the Y doesn't really count, uh, figure in to the range of it not something in there I got set up for a little bit here so I will get to that here shortly. So there we go. We got the demon blood shard on the bar right beside it. I'm pretty sure it's going to have to be activated to get the effect that I want. So, well, let's do it from the let's do it from right here. So this might cause some nastiness. Let's find out. Woohoo! Well, there was a wow. Look at all that. All those things real fast. And I got a bit of lightning where I attempted where I was targeting. That was cool. So I got concentrated catalyst, raw fish bones, all kinds of fish, most of them raw. A couple of them are not. Very nice. So let's do it one more time since I got two. Shazam and I caught so much stuff I couldn't even pick it all up. Wow. So yeah, that just provides you with even more fish apparently when you do the right click ability with it with the rod activated so let me toss all that stuff into my system and did I pick up uh, yeah I picked up everything that was on the ground anything fall down here no okay so that's mariculture fishing and the bound fishing rod so that is a lot of fun that well, so yeah, if I want to get fish, that's probably going to be the way I get fish in the future is just going to be that bound fishing rod. Um, the demon blood shards are pretty awesome. You definitely get a lot more for them. Uh, but for the for the simplicity matter, I mean, it's really not hard to get um, the blood shards for me. It's much easier than the bound, or much easier than the demon blood shards because the demon blood shards, i got to do a bunch of alchemy and then summon the guy, wait on him, kill him over and over again whereas the uh, blood shards I can get with the spawner room here you can see I've, I've altered the spawner room here because I'm gonna I'm getting ready to set that up for something else so maybe I should move into doing that while I let's see I haven't checked on my fish lately I don't think I have anything in down in here maybe I'll do a little no I have a a male goldfish in there. It's hit. I uh, need to do my flight potion. Refresh that. But yeah, now I have a whole bunch of things to 
move into this fish tank. You know what I should do is make another fish tank and see if I can stick it up some or stick it someplace and use it with a fish tank. Because I said I was going to do this, so let's try this out. I got a raw clownfish. It probably doesn't matter what kind of fish I put in there. It's got to be a raw fish of some sort. So yeah, I said I was going to see how this works out. Um, probably want to have it up. Uh, I don't want to have it where it's displayed, but... Well... No, I can't. I don't want to put it there. So it's, <laughs> it's going to take me a second to figure out exactly where I want to have it. So I don't want it to block access to any of the machines. I want it to be kind of visible. Maybe it would be best if I had the fish tank up here. This this could be a good spot for it. Like maybe like maybe right beside here. Or up one, not about right, right there. Well, why not? That's a good spot for fish tank, right? And then I would put a storage bus. Oops, wrong terminal. There we go. And I have plenty of them. Now hopefully this will not cause some major crash. I think if I do, no, I need to turn it around. Come on there, there you go. Give it some fairly high priority. Uh, 256 should be good. So now if I pick up some fish, and I'm pretty sure they got to be live fish. And if I put them back in, will he go in there? He did not go in there. Maybe it's because there's other damselfish in there already. Fish. Two. Let's see here. This might not work at all. What if I tell it to store f damselfish in there? I might have to tell it each individual so now if I tell that, okay, so it uh, is kind of appearing that it will not work with storage bus. So, um, yeah, not going to work. It was a good idea, I thought, but does not seem to work. So I just have to keep them in my regular drives. I have plenty of space still. I'm got two left that haven't even been touched, and then I got my 16 meg. So there should be no problem keeping them in there and letting them continue to go into the system. So I'm probably getting a bunch of fish from my auto fishers. If I look up all the fish I've gotten so far, I got spider fish. Male and female spider fishes. Looks like I'm getting. Oh, um, it's probably one of these is raw. What's this one? No. It's just different. It has different uh, traits. Okay, so. Uh, more on fishing in a future, or more on fish breeding in a future episode.